Hey folks, I was wanting to add a function to my uh, dashboard that lets me filter and sort this data, this large data set with all these drop down menus. But what, what I wanted to be able to do was build a function that would allow me to be able to reset everything. If I went through and changed all these, I'd have to go through and manually um, undo those and set them all back to the all function. And so what I want to do is, um, what I want to do is simply change this and write an app script that lets me do that. So I started this and I'll, I'll rebuild this with you, but I'm just going to paste in my data. Let's just take a real quick look at what I've got here so far. I have, first of all, I built a constant, the spreadsheet app, get active spreadsheet and then a constant worksheet, get sheet by name, because in this case, in this example, I'm working on sheet six, I'm getting sheet six. And then my function is to reset values. And so my first constant is column one is equal to the worksheet, which we defined here, get the range A2, set the value to all ages. And again, column two, get range and set values to all ages. So let me go ahead and save that. We'll build this out as we go here real quick, but let's go ahead and on the sheet, let's change this to the low range of 29 and the high range of 33. And you know, our, our sheet recalculates. And then I maybe uh, wanted to do female. Okay, that's great. But now I'd have to come back and undo these. So I wanna build a way to do this with my function. So what I'm gonna do is come back to this function. And by the way, uh, let me go ahead and, and just fill this out real quick. I'm just, very simply, I can copy and come in here and uh, paste. And then I can do uh, just a quick change. This is C2 set value. And in this case, I believe it's all genders. So G E N D E R S. Okay, I should be able to save that. Uh, okay, I had to change that to call three, of course. So call three. And there we go. And there we go. So call one, call two, call three. We're going to set values. Okay, perfect. So I come back here and what I really want to do is be able to run this. So I'm going to insert a an image and an image over the cells. And I'm just going to, oops, actually I don't want to insert an image. I want to create an image. I'm going to create a drawing and I'll quickly build a little button here. So I like, I like this shape button and I'll come in here and I'll just build this out real quick this would say reset values. And this could look however you want. I'm going to make it just really simple. Uh, maybe make it a little smaller. I will, um, well, maybe I'll make it bold and I will, uh, let's see, let's do some centering. Um, let's center this way. Let's center this way. Yeah, that's good. And we'll call it good with that. So now I have this button and I can move this button. Maybe I'll just put it right here. And then if I click these three dots, I can assign a script. Well, let's be sure that we know what that script is. I had called it reset values. So let me double click, copy, just don't want to make a mistake with that and go ahead and paste and say, okay. Now we had shown earlier that I'd already authorized the script. So I believe, um, or if I hadn't showed that, this is a script, so we would always need to authorize it first thing. So now I can just click this button. And if I click this button, it should run the script and it moves me back to all ages, all ages, all genders. So we would go through and we'd go column D, column E and so forth. I'll go ahead and do that and then we'll we'll come back and you'll see the finished script. So I've gone through and added all these just so um, you didn't have to waste time. You can see column one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, and it's range A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. And then the first two are all ages, all genders, all pain type, all resting BP, and so forth. So let's come back and see how it works. Let me change uh, old peak to minus two, and let's change this to down and Let's go ahead and change this to yes. And you know, we've got a few, let's hit our reset values. 
Yep, they all go back to normal. Let's do LVH, let's do 104, let's do NAP, let's do just our females, and let's just do, um, let's do our lower age limit to be 44. Okay, so, you know, we've, we've found 14 and we hit reset values and everything goes back and we're back to our 918. So I hope that's helpful. Um, I found that it was something that was going to be really helpful for me on this dashboard. You know, and I started playing around with the different functions here. I found it would be a lot easier to write this real simple app script that resets the values for me. So I hope that's helpful.